Hi guys, it's Cindy Leach, your Polymer Clay Tutor, and today's studio tip is avoiding burnt beads. Now, when you bake your polymer clay beads, especially if you are using a small little toaster oven, it's going to be very important to do a few things to avoid burning your beads. Now, toaster ovens, because they're small, they tend to heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down. So they tend to um, fluctuate in temperature. It is really important that you do a few things to control that. First of all, you're going to want to get yourself an oven thermometer. This one has clearly been used a lot. And you want to make sure if you're using um, uh, Primo clay, for example, that you bake it between 265 and 275 degrees and you keep it within that range. But the problem that can happen in a toaster oven, like I said, it can heat up and cool down and heat up and cool down. You can get spikes in temperatures. So a great way to um, avoid or at least control the spikes is to use some ceramic tile. Now I have, I, I mean, you don't have to use as many as I do. I happen to have a big stack um, from a previous renovation. So I have them in here. But I've done a bunch of things. I've put them in as many places as I can. And what it does is it holds the heat and keeps it from cooling down too fast and then therefore needing to heat back up. So what I've got is I've got underneath, now it might not be easy to see, but underneath this element inside here, there's one ceramic tile. It happened to fit underneath there. Then this particular, uh, one has a little tray underneath for catching crumbs and things. So I put another tile in there. Then I put another tile on top. And this is where my bead rack would go. And that's just going to keep, like I said, it's going to hold, hold on to that um, temperature and keep it from going up and down. There we go. I also had some leftover ones. I left them on the top. This particular oven is an older style and it's got a metal top on it that actually radi radiates quite a bit of heat. So I've got my extra tiles just sitting on top and it will keep it from cooling down too fast. And lastly, when you do bake your beads, just um, I put them on the rack. I've got this new little uh, Suguru hack that I put on here. You can see a video on that uh, that I have already. But a great way of protecting your beads from the upper element heat is to have a little tent over your beads and that'll keep any direct heat from hitting your beads. I also put an extra little bit of uh, paper or cardstock in the bottom of my bead rack and that also insulates it as well. So with the thermometer, some extra tiles, and a couple of other little tricks, you can protect your beads and keep the temperature stable in your oven. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Bye for now.